Hello guys, today I want to show you a Laravel package, Laravel Befriended, for social networks or forum topics to follow, to like or to block. And I will demonstrate you in two ways, in simple Laravel way and in Laravel Livewire. So imagine the scenario, you have some kind of a forum and you want to follow some kind of a topic, or in my case, community, it's kind of like a Reddit project where you can follow the community or unfollow it. So how it works, you click the follow, the page refreshes, you have one followers now and you can unfollow also with page refresh. That is if we do that without Laravel Live Wire. And first the package, the syntax. It is based on traits which you add to your models. So for example, in usage, if in your case user can follow another user, you just query both of them and then Alice should follow Bob in this case. And then you can count the following or the followers. And to make the model be able to follow some other model, you add can follow and here can follow and follower here. If the model can be followed like a topic, then it's the other way around. So can be followed and followable. And that it allows you to do something like follow, like following count and some more examples here. And also you can check is following. So if something is following another model and also you can revoke the follower and pretty similar stuff is for blocking can block can be blocked and similar to liking can like or can be liked. So in my case, I implemented the follow stuff. Installation of the package is simple. Just compose require. But I want to emphasize one thing in the documentation. The config is optional to be published, but the migrations, you really need the migrations because it creates four database tables in my database here. So you have blockers, you have followers, you have likers, and you have those in migrations. So here followers, blockers, likers, and then accept it or not. So you need the migrations. And after it's done in your models, I have two models, community and user. So user can follow community in this case. To user, I add following and follow these two things. And to community, I add can be followed and followable. I know it's a bit messy, but it's all in the documentation of the package. So these two things is kind of a parent and child. And if you have user to user, so user can follow or unfollow another user, you should add both things to the same model. So when we have that prepared, we can do the button like this one in the page. So follow community. And in the code, it looks like this. Let's open show blade file for the community. So at this point, we have the community object on this page. And then we can first show the followers count like this. So community count the followers by the model auth user. And then we have a form since it's a post route. It can be get, but I think it's better to stick to the standards. So creating something new is post or put and getting the data is get request. So in this case, it's a form with post to the route of communities follow. So specific route and submit button. And also we're checking with that package syntax. If I'm following the community, then I can unfollow. Otherwise it's follow community. And then that communities follow routes follows routes web PHP. This is the syntax community ID follow controller follow it's Laravel eight new syntax of the routing and we have the name and if we go to that controller and scroll down to the follow this is the method we find the community by ID and if I'm following then I revoke the follower otherwise there is a new follower. Again, it can sound messy, like following follower revoke and all of that, but it's all in the documentation and I will put that on the GitHub for you to check it out. And then we redirect back and then that show blade should show new follower as one new follower here. So let's demonstrate that again, follow and there's one. And if there's unfollow, there's zero. So that's how you would do it typically in typical Laravel with full page refresh. But wouldn't it be cool that only this block should be refreshed, not touching anything else and not refreshing the full page on such a small design that refresh doesn't even look like refresh. It's not really felt, but on a bigger page on something like Reddit, that full refresh would take quite a long time. So for that, let's create Laravel Livewire component. First, we install Livewire by doing Composer require Livewire Livewire. Then to the main blade file, we add two things in app blade. On top, we need to add live wire styles and at the bottom, we need to add live wire scripts and then we do PHP artisan make live wire and then your component name. In my case, component name was follow. And then we have two files generated app HTTP live wire follow PHP. And then the blade is in resources views live wire follow blade. 
and to add that component it's already written instead of those span things let's comment that we do live wire follow with a parameter of community id community id equals community id like this or from what i remember it's actually community id like this and then what happens actually let's refresh the page and see if it works yep it still works just added a bit more space and if we follow here's the result you probably don't feel that but there's no page refresh in this case so only this part is refreshed how does it work when we load live wire follow the follow blade is loaded like this and here we don't need the form anymore livewire takes care of api requests of ajax requests whenever we change something in that component so we have the same line of counting the followers that didn't change but instead of the form let's compare we had the form here and we don't need that anymore because we have wire click event which will call the live wire method i will get to that in a minute and then we have variable following now let's get into live wire controller or live wire component i just call it a controller and here we have two properties community which we mount this is kind of a constructor of a component so from community id from this parameter from this one we get the community id we pass that and find the community so this community model won't change throughout the life cycle of that component and then we assign is it following so am i following that community or not and this following is accessible in the blade file in follow blade like this so all the variables that are assigned in live wire component here are accessible in its blade then the method render just shows that blade with the variables from here and then wire click follow fires this event so if this following compared to the controller we don't need to check that like this anymore because we have that inside the component mounted and if i'm following then i revoke the follower and again this community i don't query community anymore it's mounted already and then i'm just toggling if it's follow or unfollow it's just true or false changing the values so in my opinion livewire version is more simple and livewire is pretty great for these types of interactions for small things for small pieces on your website triggering some small data update like counter like button that would refresh some text or show or hide something so you don't need a full page refresh for that and i recommend livewire for that that's it the repository will be on on github as usual and if you want to try out livewire deeper i have a special course on my teachable for starters for newcomers to laravel livewire so you can check that out as well and see you guys in other videos